In this video, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can assign a barcode or a serial number to events that are recorded on the SD card in the MDC controller. Now, the process is pretty simple. You simply need to scan a barcode, and now that barcode will be associated with every event that happens after that, or until the system is powered off, or another barcode is scanned. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples here. Now, we are using models for these examples, and models give us the ability to add presets for a determined number of fastenings. And in this case, we're using four for each example. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first example. We're using model one. We simply scan the barcode. Now with each fastening, we are recording the torque data along with some other data that we'll look at here in a minute. And the barcode is associated with each rundown. Now that the model is complete, we're actually going to scan a barcode to change the model to model number two. And now that we've done that, now this barcode is going to be associated with all of the events that happen until we change the model again. So we'll do our rundowns. And now that that model is complete, we're gonna go ahead and scan another barcode to change the model. But now we're gonna come back and scan an additional barcode before we start. And now the second barcode that we scanned is associated with those events that happen after that. Okay, at this point, let's go ahead and take a look at the data that is on the SD card. So let's put that into the computer and you'll see the file structure is set up as MDC, then by the year, then by the month, and then finally by the day. Now, when this opens up in Excel, we'll see the barcode in column B is listed in scientific notation. That's only because the cell needs to be expanded and that will reveal the entire barcode. So let's take a quick look at the data that has been saved on the SD card before we talk about the barcodes. In column A is the time signature when the event took place. B obviously is our barcode. Column C shows the amount of time in milliseconds it took to run down the fastener. Column D shows which preset we used. Column E shows the target torque. Column F is the converted torque. Column G shows the RPM speed that was used. H shows the amount of angle or turns in degrees that the fastener went. Column I shows the count of the screws and that's after the event has taken place. So it may look a little bit confusing. However, before we start each fastening sequence, you'll see that it begins with a count of four and then runs down to a count of zero for the last fastening. In column J shows our snug torque angle. Column K shows our error field. If there was an error, a code would show up in that data field. Column L shows the FL, which basically is the tools in its forward or loosening position. Zero is forward and one would be for loosening. Now in column M, this shows our results of certain events. Now there are more events that take place other than a simple rundown. So we do see a fastening OK is the result of one. And we also see a four in there, which is a preset change. Zero could be a non torque up event or another event that the system will go ahead and log. Now, as it relates to our barcodes, in our first example, we simply scanned a barcode and now that barcode was associated with those events. And you can see that beginning in row three through row seven. In our next example, we scanned the barcode to change our model, which also then changed our preset. And you can see that from row eight all the way through row 14. Now, since we didn't scan any additional barcode, that one was associated with those events. Now for our last example, we scanned our barcode and you'll see that in 
row 15 and 16. Then we scanned the same barcode that we did for our first example. And now that barcode was associated with the torque events. So these are the different examples that we could use to link a barcode or a serial number to a torque event for data collection. For more information, please visit us at mounttorque.com.